planet Earth is quite generous with the commodities it allows us to harvest. Minerals, timber, food, water, oil. Among all of the things that we cut, scoop, pump and collect from the Earth, none is more valuable than gold. From ancient Egypt to today's luxury goods, gold has been a symbol of prosperity. But today, 20 million people aren't mining gold to get rich. They mine it to survive. Through hard work and determination, these small operations are often the driving economic engine for their entire community. One sixth of the global supply of gold comes from operations like these. And where there is gold, there are miners, like Americo and Estelle of Colombia, and Hoven from the Philippines. And inside the mines of Peru, and anywhere people enter the mines and risk their lives to provide for their families. Some earn a few dollars, others a few hundred each day. The vast majority of them are still using mercury to extract their gold. But it comes at a high price for both the environment and the health of the miners. Small-scale gold mining communities pour mercury straight into the river. So imagine the, the amount of mercury that this sector is pouring into the water systems and contaminating the fish. It's going to impact not just their community, but also the downstream community. Mercury is also released into the atmosphere, contaminating the air thousands of kilometers away from the mine. For most, a pathway to a mercury-free operation is not feasible without access to finance. Of course, the people, they don't uh, easily understand the effect of mercury because of the traditional thinking that they'll get profit from it. But if we will not use mercury, then what are we going to use? That's the first question that they will ask. The GEF Gold Project will fund $45 million for projects in eight countries. It brings together the miners, the refiners, as well as globally recognized brands. The miners gain access to low interest loans to purchase equipment that significantly improves efficiency and eliminates their dependence on mercury. Global brands will help to increase the market for mercury-free gold. And everyone in the supply chain, from the mine to the market, wins. The global opportunities for long-term development in the ASGM sector. It's good for the miners. It's good for the planet.